Hi, and welcome to Quiz Live for ESL. I'm Kevin Chan, and I'll be helping you today to learn how to use Quiz Live for ESL students. We're going to go and cover a few items today. First of all, we'll talk about general tips for accessibility. Then we'll talk about accommodations for ESL. We'll move through a sample Quiz Live for ESL. I'll give you that demonstration. Then we'll talk a little bit about language input and see the, how that integrates into your session. And finally, I'll give you a few words to try to encourage you on towards being successful in making your first quiz alive. Some general tips for accessibility are as follows: You are the person most responsible for accessibility. Therefore, customer service is absolutely important. You're the one. Who's going to try to help your students to be able to successfully handle your first quiz at live? And they are going to need all many different ways for them to be able to access, be able to get online, be able to use technology successfully. It's a different world where you have many people who are trying to learn how to do online learning and yet need guidance and skills. You want your the students to have fun, so make sure everyone has access as much as possible to your set and to your game leading. For some accommodations for ESL, I would say one item is to copy the link and send it in the chat. Secondly, open the display for students to use the iPhone camera, and then they can get online. Provide time for students to access Quizlet Live. Now, I would definitely give you more time and give the students more time at the very beginning when they first learn Quizlet Live. You want to take a picture of the students' names and these animal identities that they have.、Uh, there's going to be some animals. Identity names that appear on screen. If you take a picture of that, that will help you to monitor who's succeeding、uh, when you, they are actually in the Quizlet Live session. Finally, you're going to provide instructions at the beginning and provide reminders when gaming, and then descriptive praise at the end to build connection. It helps. If you have something like a competition, I would recommend something like three stars to win a game. For a larger group, or five stars to win for a smaller group, and you may need to have at least、uh, th two or three people in order to start the game itself. Okay, so we are now in my Quizlet.com website, and I'm looking over here, and I'm going to click on one of my Quizlet、uh, sets that I'm going to show to you just briefly. We're going to use this as a sample to do a Quizlet live. And it's pretty easy to make one of these sets. Basically, you can put in again a vocabulary word and then a picture for an item. And as you type these in, you create several different items to create a set. And if you're interested in wanting to look back at any of the Quizlet trainings on these, you can go ahead and do that. However, I'm going to focus mostly on Quizlet Live, so I'm going to click. On this icon, we're going to do this online, so we're going to use the individual version, where students can play independently and not be、uh, forced to work amongst groups. And in this situation, you want to click on the very one on the left, mostly that has just、uh, the definitions as answers, so that you can just be looking at pictures and selecting the answers. And that's how you would want your students to practice. You press that, and all of a sudden there comes, and there's some great music. But we're gonna go ahead and take a look at different ways to accommodate students and ESL students' needs. So I'm gonna go ahead and model a few. The first one is looking at just joining www.quizlet.live, entering the code six seven zero dash zero four zero. So. I'm going to take a new window, and I'm just going to try to remember that. So,、uh, www. Quizlet. Live. You're typing that in, and then you can see over here six seven zero zero four zero. So in my new tab, got it in six seven zero zero four zero. I press continue, and I'll. Put Kevin one, right? So we'll go to that. 
and you can see that all of a sudden it has this picture and a checkbox and you're just waiting to get started and sure enough when you go back to the main website you see my name there so I'm, uh, it looks like that's an indicator that I'm in. Another way I'm going to do this is I'm going to go ahead and take my phone and I'm going to use the camera function. I'm going to go over that little little box over there, that uh, barcode, and then I'll click on this QR code item in Safari. It will open up on my phone and it will connect you directly to Quizlet Live. You just press got it and you can enter your name. I'm going to say Bobby. Okay, and so Bobby's in there. And what we're also going to do is we're going to go ahead and copy the game link. link. Now, there's two ways to share the game link. You can either share it directly through Zoom. And if you do, do it through Zoom, you want to be able to just put it in the chat. And that helps for everybody to be able to access that immediately. Secondly, you could also send it via Remind. So I'll go ahead and do a quick Remind model. And I'll click on Remind.com. And as I pull up to Remind.com, I'm going to just look at one of my classes, an old class. And I'm going to send a message to them. So I'm going to see over here in the upper left, it says click new message. I'm going to click again on that spring 2019, continue. And then I'm going to do control V, which allows me to just paste what I copied there. And I'll send this to that class. And automatically, when you see the announcements there now, uh, they should be able to access uh, the course and be able to click that directly. So that being said, it, it because it's a closed class, you might not see that. But that's a, one way to make sure that the, the link gets to them. So they have several different ways to do it. You modeled through Quizlet Live directly. You had copy, you copied everything and put it in the chat and in Remind. And then you've allowed them to access that through the computers. And at this point, everybody should be able to access that and get on with their game. Okay, then the next step is again, clicking on create game. And from there, you can start the game when you're ready. Uh, don't forget when you do this, make sure you take a picture of the, of the names. And that way you can comment and uh, comment on individual people as opposed to just the animal names okay so then you start your game and you're looking good so uh we're gonna go ahead and see what it's like to have a number of people in that game and what i want you to do is i want you to pay attention to the language that i use uh, language input is an essential part of an esl classroom so any way that you can do any encouragements during the class or be able to help individuals uh, during that time in the Quizlet, it could be helpful. And so what I end up doing is I end up being something like a sports announcer, somebody who tries to encourage people during the game. So you kind of get have a sense of that. And sometimes I might give directions and instructions. So use that window and see, you can see how I do it, but maybe that might encourage you or spur you on to think, how can I use language in the classroom to help incorporate these ESL learners as well. Okay, so I'm going to give you a sample of what that looks like and enjoy that moment and then we'll get back to our final uh, words, okay? Oh, wow. Looks like we're all able to get in. Congratulations. I'm going to put a stand. Here we go. Are you ready? Okay, I'm going to take a picture of this for myself so I know who I'm talking to. Okay. And here I go. Um, we're going to start a game. Okay, okay, I'm going to go ahead and start. This is Sharks, Alpacas, Sea Dragons. Nice job. Way to get on the lead. Hedgehogs, you're doing great. Chameleons, nice job. Siberian Tigers. Orcas, keep on practicing. You can do it. All right, sea turtles. All right, giraffes. 
up. I'm looking at, I think there's going to be a champion. Oh, this is tough. This is going to be it. And guess what? It is now Lucy earns her third star. Yeah. Nicely done. Okay, great. Well, I really hope that you enjoyed a sampling of uh, Quizlet Live for ESL. And hopefully you were able to see some of that last language input that I used to encourage the students. Again, you are welcome to run your Quizlet Live however you would wish. However, I hope that you have enough strategies now to create your own Quizlet Live and to feel confidently coming into your first Quizlet Live session. Enjoy the process and hope that your students are able to gain and enjoy and have fun with you. Take care. And if you need to ask me any questions, feel free to reach out. Kevin Chan at apu.etu is a way to contact me. Take care and hope things are going well for you.